House Walford, eager to report House N's illicit dealings to Hyzant, rebuffs an attack from Booker, Sorcelay's loyal assistant, and gains entry to the city. Alas, Cancel, one of the Saintly Seven, informs them that charges cannot be brought without hard evidence of Sorcelay's misdeeds. I see the salt matter is being addressed. Exactly as you predicted, no less. I never expected House Wolford to so much as entertain the idea. The Wolforts are formidable, always striving to do the right thing. Which is also what makes him so easy to manage. What are you scheming now? Scheming? You make it sound so scandalous. All I do, I do for our beloved Hyzant. Do not play the fool. I know Minister Edor has taken notice of you. You would do well not to let it go to your head. I certainly cannot bring myself to admire the man. Oh, why ever not? It is not worth going into detail. Suffice to say, I would not mourn him should some grave impropriety come to light. Then, for now, let us gleefully await the Wolfort's next move. Sorcely may well come to end us once he hears of our allegations. There is no turning back now. We must move swiftly. So how shall we proceed? We must provide hard evidence, as Minister Camsell requested. And I wish to be named Archduke of Esfrost. Does he understand what he asks of us? We have no leads. Have you managed to reach Minister Exham? Regrettably, I have not. I would prefer to have him in our corner, but we haven't the time. We shall collect the evidence and testimony ourselves. Salt is a well-regulated commodity, and numbers do not lie. If this illicit trade exists, someone will have altered the ledgers. Of course. We'll gather what information we can on Sorcelay until the evidence we seek reveals itself. Let us canvas the town and see what we find. Agreed. We should split up and search for clues.
What news? Have you learned anything? Source light is shrewd. He'll not reveal his true colors so easily. Nothing can remain hidden indefinitely. A thorough review of the testimony shall show us the truth. Benedict is right. Let us review what we know to be true. Lord Serenoa, what does the evidence at hand suggest? Let us begin with Sorsley himself. What is his crime? He sold illicit salt. Of that there can be no doubt. One of Hyzant's own saintly seven is a traitor. If we cannot secure the help of the remaining saints, we've no choice but to present our case directly to the Hierophant. Doing so will require incontrovertible proof of Sorcelay's improprieties. Incontrovertible proof that we lack, unfortunately. Then, we must prepare to face charges of false accusation. Now then, let us focus on where we might find the evidence we need. So, we'll find the vanished cargo ship. How do you propose we find something that vanished without a trace? Suspicious as it is, we'd best search elsewhere. There is no doubt in my mind that Sorcelay was engaged in illegal salt sales. The trouble remains that we've got no proof of anything. The vanished cargo ship is suspicious, yes, but we'll not find an unmoored vessel. Despite our best efforts, I'm afraid we haven't evidence enough to confront him over his crimes. And Sorcely will find us out soon enough, if he hasn't already. Time is of the essence, then. What is our next move? Though we lack proof, we'd best raise the issue with Camsel once more. Serenoa and his retinue know House End is involved in the illicit salt trade, yet fail to secure any solid evidence to back up their claims. Their position growing tenuous, House Wolfort makes a reckless bid to persuade Kamsal, Minister of Domestic Affairs, to levy charges. Minister Camsell will join our cause, won't he? It's hard to be sure, but we must press our case and have faith. That is all that is in our power to do. You! Are you House End's dogs? A messenger, my lord, from the palace. I seek Lord Serenoa Wolfort. You have found him. Lord Wolfort, you have been accused of coercing Minister Sorcelay End unto unlawful acts. Your presence is required at the palace so the Holy One may question you. How send is the guilty party, not Saranoa? If you've testimony to give, you are welcome to stand witness at the trial. My lord, this may be a good opportunity to bring our case directly to the Hierophant and the other powerful entities of Hyzant. I expect the Saintly Seven are not of one mind on this matter. If you can persuade some of the ministers to side with us, Sorcelay will have nowhere to run. Perhaps. Or you could end up the one with his head on the chopping block, Saranoa. Even so, we cannot make an enemy of Hyzant, else we truly will be alone. I must stand trial plead my case to the Holy One and the Saintly Seven, and hope that they believe me.
The inquiry of House Wolfert, stood accused by Minister Sorsley End, will hereby commence. We of the Saintly Seven will preside over this trial. Serenor Wolfert, you stand before the Holy One. Do you swear by the Goddess to speak the truth? I swear. Minister Exham Marshall, you may begin the proceedings. We know Minister Sorsley quite well, having worked with him for these long years. But we know comparatively little of you, Lord Saranoa. Therefore, we must first determine whether you are worthy of our trust. Surely you have not forgotten his position among the saintly seven of the holy state of Hyzant? Sorsley must be found guilty exactly because he is one of the saintly seven and speaks with the voice of the goddess herself. We did not convene this trial for you to dictate the verdict to us, but to judge for ourselves. It is apparent now that you assume too much too quickly. I have nothing further to ask. Next, Minister Kamsel Farrant will make his inquiries. You must understand the difficult position you have put us in, sauntering into our home to denounce one of our own. We are a welcoming people, and so must be wary of those who seek to take advantage of our open hearts. If a stranger came to you with unfounded accusations against one of your people, I doubt you would take him at his word. Have you any proof of the foul deeds you claim have taken place in our land? I've heard of a cargo vessel disappearing from the port in the middle of the night. It's possible it was carrying unlawful salt. You present as your evidence another rumor, and one from an anonymous source at that. Is it customary where you are from to condemn a man based on gossip alone? I think not. I have nothing more to ask. Minister Tenebris, if you would. It isn't strange that lay people would fail to grasp the goddess's infinite wisdom. We seven, however, do understand her will. For most, our teachings are the only way they know how to live according to her plan. It is moot to judge Sorsley, one of the seven, based on evidence brought against him by a layperson. No matter what that evidence may be. Unless you have testimony from one who understands the goddess's will, there is simply nothing we can do. I may not understand the goddess's will, but all I can do is ask that you believe me. Then there is no reason to even hold this trial. Do you not see that? I have no further questions. Minister Lila Viscraft, ask your questions. It is plain to me that Sorsley has indeed engaged in misconduct, namely bribery. Yet while I do not doubt he bribed an official of Glenbrook, what the bribe was for remains unclear. Perhaps you can shine some light on the matter, Lord Serenoa? The ship that disappeared in the night must have been carrying unlawful salt. He'd have wanted to keep that quiet. Yet rumor of such a ship has reached even my ears. Would it not be an utter waste of coin to buy a single person's silence when so many have already heard the gossip? I have no more questions. I, Edor Delmira, will ask one final round of questions. I cannot deny, Lord Serenoa, that Sorsley can be foolish. But he is also dedicated to the goddess, 
and he has worked much good as one of the seven. Though he is not faultless by any means, I believe the goddess yet favors him. If we are to pass judgment on such a man, we must prove his guilt to the goddess herself. So let me ask you this, Serenor Wolfort. Where exactly are we to find such evidence against Sorcelay End? We could find nothing in town. So, there must be something here in the palace. In this palace? Where we live and work beneath the ever-watchful gaze of the goddess herself? How disappointing, Serenoa Wolfort, that you still do not grasp the extent of her divine power. My questions are done. Now we will confer with one another. The Holy One will pass judgment after hearing our opinions. Saranora Woolfort, the Holy One has passed judgment. House Woolfort was found to have spoken untrue. You brought baseless accusations against the most exalted sorcery end of the saintly seven and sullied his good name. Such blasphemous actions cannot go unpunished. Wait, we meant no insult against the goddess. Luckily for you, her mercy extends even to heretics. You have one chance to atone. Face Sorcery's forces in battle and emerge the victor. What? Let whomsoever earns the goddess's divine grace be cleansed of all sin. It will be as the Hierophant has decreed. House End and House Wolfort will battle until the other falls. May the Goddess of Salt bestow her eternal mercy upon the victor. Am I hearing this right? So guilty criminals get to walk free if they win? We've no choice but to do as they say. It is what the goddess teaches. And likely the outcome agreed upon by those who view Sorcelay as a threat. Whatever the case may be, we must fight, and we must win. They are united in their desire to destroy me. And it is your fault! You will pay for this, Wolfort! Do my best. Please, leave everything to me. my demise to you. I, whose oversight of the source brought prosperity to this land? Do not twist the truth to obfuscate your crimes. 
It seems you've forgotten the goddess's will. Allow me to remind you. Come then. Let us settle this in honest combat. Time for some sorcery. Tend to work. Ha! I feel stronger already. So battle, I suppose. I swear on house end. Of the saintly seven, I will win. I must win. Ugh. My turn. You have my thanks. I must. I shirk from no danger. Here I come. I suppose. Ah! Does it Try. hurt? The hunt is on. From this range. Oh. And where shall we strike? That hit the mark. They're closing in. It will take more than this farce of a trial to destroy me. You will pay. You will all pay. I fight for peace. Stay right. 
right there. Oh. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts. The moment I win, you will be cast into the source and left there to rot. The Roselle have suffered too long under your cruelty. Mark me, Sorcelay Ant. You will pay for what you have done. Behold, true power. The heavens rage! New power overflows within me. Your orders? That hits a mark. My skills grow sharper. No. This is not the end of me. I refuse to allow it. Victory goes to House Wolfort. Give thanks to the goddess for bestowing upon you her grace. This concludes your trial. Well fought, all of you. To think the truth had to be proved through a test of strength. It was the Hierophant's decree. None in Hyzant raise objections. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, my lord. After all, losing the battle would have meant losing our heads. <sighs> I suppose you are right. <laughs> <laughs>